If you want to be successful and you want to be happy, those are the two things that's common to most, most people. You're looking at a person who was neither one of those for a long period in my life, man. It was a lot of, a lot of pain in my life. No more than nobody else, I just had a lot. But I learned along the way, everything that's happening to you is God is processing. Every difficult moment you're having, He just processing. That's all He doing. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. And if you need to be tough, when you get to where you're going, then he gonna toughen you. If you gotta be more caring along the way, he gonna let you have some trials come your way that's gonna have to produce that in you. What happened in my life was, getting where I've gotten to today and where I'm even headed to, I had to be tough. So he toughened me along the way. I had to learn how to appreciate a lot, so he took everything. To really understand the value of money, I had none. To just appreciate simple things, what I'm gonna eat today, where I'm gonna wash up at, where I'm gonna bathe. He sent me through a trial of being homeless for three years. I lived in a car for three years. All of that, that I was going through, that I was tripping with, that I did not appreciate or understand, I understand it now. Even though I did not understand or appreciate the route he took me on, it was the route I had to go on. See, the route you on right now is the route you got to take, and it's very uniquely yours. This thing you going through, this just uniquely yours. You just gotta understand, you ain't the only one. You ain't the only one going through it. Now, in the order that it's gonna happen, it's just yours. See, God made us very different. This is a, this God we got. God is amazing. He created you so individually. Do you know that it's close to eight billion people on earth now? Do you know that it's almost eight billion people on the earth? Do you know how many billions of people have died? Do you know that if you dig up all them people that have died, and all the people that are presently here, and every last one of them that he gonna make in the future, not one of you have the same fingerprint. You have control of this. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain, you're the master, you're the foreman, you're the general, you're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody, especially the devil. Do not let Satan come in here and function and operate because he has one mission, to keep you off course, to make you not think it's possible, to make you think that God don't hear you. His job is only to destroy you, to make sure that you don't become what God intended for you to become. That's the mission of the devil. I was sick and tired of being poor. I was just exhausted. My mother was poor, my father was poor, my brothers and sisters were poor. All my friends were poor, all my relatives were poor. I lived in a poor neighborhood, we lived in a poor house. I was just like, oh man, I watch TV. And I was, you know, like at Christmas time, my father would put us in the car and take us out to the suburbs to see the Christmas lights. And I would see these big houses, man with lights all on them and they had horseshoe driveways where you just pull in and go all the way around. That, that shit was amazing to me. You know, we would pull up in the driveway, got a back out. You know, I've been doing that shit. And I kept saying, I told my father, I said, Dad, I said, why don't we get one of these houses? He said, boy, I ain't got no money for this kind of house. He said, but if you work hard, keep going to church like your mama say, you can make some money, you can buy you one of these houses. That was it. My motivation, was to buy a big house so I could put up Christmas lights. So my advice is, you have to find a dream that's so big that it overwhelms all of your fears and causes you to never give up. Now you're gonna think about quitting no matter what you do. I mean, I've thought about it many times, but I always just kept thinking about that house. 
And I always dreamed of buying my mother and father a real house. And you know, and before they died, I was able to do all of that. To find your way in life, it's not an external search, it's an internal search. Because God equipped you the moment he gave birth to you. God equipped you at birth with what you needed. He gave all of you a gift, all of you. Every last one of you, you're gifted. God never created a soul without giving them a gift. All of you sitting in here were given a gift at birth. He put it inside you. You ain't got to look under the ocean. It ain't on the mountain. It ain't under no rocks. He put it in you at birth. He gave you a gift. It is the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your God-given gift. That's the thing you should pursue. The scripture says your gift will make room for you and put you in the presence of important men. That's what your gift will do for you. Everything else you're doing has nothing to do with what God created you for. And if you're unhappy with your life, if you haven't figured your life out, if you're thinking there's more to your life than it is, it's because the only reason you have that question is because you're not living in your gift. Once you discover your gift, there lies your greatest chance for success. That's what God gave you, equipped you with today. You just gotta quit looking at gifts as running, jumping, singing, and dancing.